Kia ora. You join me here in Shenzhen, a city in China that most Kiwis and Aussies have never heard of. But this city of 17 and a half million people is doing something smarter than we are. I mean, look around. Listen, you'd think with a city that's got two thirds the population of Australia it would be unbelievably noisy and stinky. And you know what? It was. It used to be a stinky city with air you couldn't breathe. So they fixed it. All those scooters are electric. Every single one. Yep, this place was the world's first city to make all its buses and taxis fully electric. This is back in 2018 and immediately the air became cleaner and they check it constantly with air quality monitoring. But they're also going heavily into renewables. Last year, this city generated 1.5 billion kilowatt hours of renewable electricity and it's increasing now. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. China as a whole is leaping ahead, despite the fact that many of us in the West, we may not want to hear this. But I'm not here to soothe your feelings. I'm here to tell you the truth. There are things that they are doing better than us and we can copy them and we can reap the rewards. I mean, this city even has organized eco-educational tours and environmental festivals to put clean values into the public mindset. And everyone likes clean, healthy air, so we should be doing the same. We should be talking about it. Actually, I guess that's what I'm doing right now here in China. I'm playing my part. <laughs> It's not just Shenzhen either. China as a whole is leaping ahead of us in terms of renewables and progress. And I'm not interested in the politics of it. I never have been interested in politics. I'm only interested in clean air, electric cars and working solutions. And I can see the results of all that right here on this busy city street. Now, I want us to copy that and for us to reap those rewards. So what is it that China's doing that's getting people like me all excited? Well, let's have a look around if I can figure out where I am. Now, let's talk EVs and China now leads global EV sales. Last year alone, this country sold more than 12 million passenger electric vehicles, which is two thirds of all electric vehicle sales on the entire planet. In fact, as of last month, more than half of all new car sales in China were electric or they were plug-in vehicles. And they've now ousted all their old dirty diesels from city streets, something Paris and London are working on right now. And as a person born with a respiratory system, I like that. In fact, the loudest thing isn't the engines, it's the horns. That one, that one, that one. Every single vehicle runs on batteries. I smell cooked food, not emissions. Wow. As for who's making all these cars, well, BYD is king. They've delivered 3.5 million EVs last year alone, and that's almost a third of the domestic market here. And it's more than double Tesla's entire worldwide sales. They've even bought their own ships to deliver cars. Now let's face it, they're unstoppable. As for solar power, they're breaking records there too. Last year, China added 277 gigawatts of new solar capacity. That is a 45% increase from 2023. The thing is, like these numbers, they're so huge, they're kind of hard for idiots like me to imagine. So to put it in perspective, for Kiwis and Aussies watching this, as of last year, New Zealand's now got around half a gigawatt of solar panel generation installed. Last year alone, China installed more than 550 times our total capacity. That's in one year. As for Australia, they love solar, right? They'd be going nuts installing solar panels. But China still installed eight times Australia's total capacity last year alone. China's now got around 886 gigawatts of solar power installed and growing. Now, we need to up our game. And with solar panels now so cheap you can use them as fencing panels, we've got no excuse. And before anyone jumps in about emissions from coal stations, yes, that is still a problem. But China's working on it as they should. In fact, the country is now on track to meet its 2030 climate goals early. Early? Like, when have we ever met climate goals early? Some predictions even say China's carbon emissions could peak this year and then start to fall. And this is in a country of over a billion people. So really, what's our excuse? Now, while most of you watching this are logical people with critical reasoning, there will be some watching this claiming that I'm somehow a China shill because I've come over here and I've actually said positive things, the good things about their doing, but I'm not. I just want what you want. I want clean air. I want stability in the grid. I want cheaper energy. I want healthier families and fewer illnesses. We all want this. And this is something that China, for all its faults, is doing well. This is something we can emulate today. So here's the call to action. 
Two thirds of all emissions globally are from electricity generation and transport. So first of all, join Ecotricity because it's the only certified climate positive electricity provider in New Zealand. That means all the electricity they provide to you is from wind, hydro and solar, making it very affordable. So there is some money saved. Second thing you can do is install solar panels on your roof. Solar production costs have fallen by 90% in the last decade and China is making use of this and we should too. I put panels on the roof of my crusty old 1960s house a few months ago and my power bill has been in credit for five months now. It's that good. Like I've never had a power bill in credit before. The third thing you can do is to get an electric car, even new or used. And there is a booming secondhand market in New Zealand and Australia now. In fact, I just did a video on the best value EVs you can buy in New Zealand today. So be sure to check that one out. By doing one, two or three of those things, you'll be cleaning the air, buying time for our kids and their kids, and you're ensuring energy security and grid security. And best of all, you'll be saving money. Now we can have all of this. We can have the best bits of this in our own cities. It's not just fantasy. All this technology exists and it's not only affordable, but it actually makes money. Like looking around here, I'm so jazzed, man. Like, what are we waiting for? Let's do it.